welcome to another copycat recipe video here on Dole of Wishes and Castle Dreams. We are so glad you could join us today. We will be heading over to the Animal Kingdom Lodge, specifically their restaurant, Boma. If you have never eaten there before, you need to try it. Their food is amazing. In fact, I think this is the second copycat recipe we've done from there because their food is just so good and I know it won't be our last. Um, they've got so many great things to try. So today we will be making the butternut squash soup. I've got my butternut squash here and all of my ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the ingredient list for you as well. If you need a moment, just hit pause and get those jotted down so you can pick up those ingredients. You are definitely gonna wanna try this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna start by cutting up our butternut squash first. So let's go ahead and clear all this stuff out. And what I wanna do is I wanna get up nice and close so you can see how I do that. You're gonna start by cutting off the ends and then using a peeler to peel off the sides. If it's a little too hard to get those sides peeled, pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, that'll help. And you're gonna split it down the middle and scoop out all the seeds, kind of like you would with a pumpkin. Get all of that sinew and all of that out of there. And you're going to slice it up into one inch chunks. Once you're done chopping, you're going to take it and put it into a baking dish. Okay, so I've got it in my glass baking dish. I've melted my butter. I'm gonna go ahead and just drench that on over my pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to add my salt and pepper just on over the top there, whatever looks good to you. Okay, and then I'm going to pop this into the oven for about 45 minutes at 325 degrees until it's nice and soft and cooked all the way through. We're gonna take them out of the oven. They're nice and soft now, thoroughly cooked. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's going on. And then we are going to put them into our blender so we can go ahead and puree them. And we're going to add our cup of water to help do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my blender, blend it up and get it nice and pureed. After I've pureed it, I'm going to put it back into my pot. That way I can add all of my other ingredients to it. And it needs to be something that you can put on the stove. So it needs to be a stove safe pot. I've got it here ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. We've got about an ounce of sugar. We're gonna add that in and just mixing as we go. We've got a cup of heavy cream that we're gonna add and just mix on in there. And then our regular milk, we've got a cup of that as well. Looking really good. It smells good too. Okay, then we're going to add our teaspoon of our spices. So we've got a teaspoon of coriander. And a teaspoon of ginger. Let's see. Okay. 
a teaspoon of nutmeg. Just going to eyeball it. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, of course, if you want to add more or less of any of these, that is up to you. Whatever seasoning sounds good, go ahead and do that. And then just mix it really well. You could even do this part in your blender if you want. That's fine, but I wanted to do it in my pot so you could see me add all the goodies. Okay, and then two more things and we will be done. The next thing you wanna do is what's called a slurry. So what a slurry is, is it's cornstarch. Um, I've got a tablespoon here and then water. I've got a tablespoon of that as well. And I'm gonna mix it together and I'm just going to create almost like a little paste, okay, in my little bowl. And I need to do this separately so it does form the paste first. And then I'm going to add that to my soup. And what this is, it's called a thickening agent, which just means that it's going to help make my soup a little bit thicker. Right now it's a little runny, um, but that's okay because this is going to help thicken it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to take it over to my stove and just heat it up for a little bit and have my last ingredient. Um, if it's not thickening up the way that you like, you can make a little bit more of that slurry. Um, just whatever amount of cornstarch you use. So like I said, I used a tablespoon. Um, just use that same amount of water and stir it really well. Um, and then you can keep adding it to your soup. But just remember as it heats too, it's gonna thicken up. So add a little at a time and let it heat and then see if it's where you want it to be. So and last, we're gonna add our sprinkling of pixie dust, which is just a little something extra we like to add to each of our recipes. Kind of like Disney adds a little bit of magic to all of our lives. Today we are doing shredded American cheese. You can get just like a block of cheese that's fine or pre-shredded cheese. Um, this is a little bit special because I hand shred it, which makes it melt a little bit better. I don't know if you know this, but the pre-shredded stuff in the stores actually has a coagulant agent in it that makes it not melt as neatly as if you were to say just buy a regular block of cheese and shred it yourself. So our sprinkling of pixie dust is that. And we're just gonna mix it in until it is all melted and nice um, even consistency. Okay, so that's our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got my soup here all ready to go. I can't wait to give it a try. Um, I am going to eat it right out of here or you can serve it to the rest of your family, I guess, if you want to. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, we would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. We do other great copycat recipe videos like this one, along with some Disney craft videos and some tips and tricks for visiting the park. So you're going to also want to tap that bell so you don't miss any of our episodes when they come out. We would love to have you a part of our YouTube family. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we hope to see you real soon.